Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I'm so happy I followed up with this subject, which is the World World Championships, where, uh, if you remember, the Ukrainians said, if you guys uh, allow the Russians and the Belarusians to participate, we're going to boycott it. And the International Judo Association of Federation said, you basically and then the ukrainians said okay we're not gonna we're not gonna participate but can you guess why the ukrainians really wanted those guys not to participate well i uh, suspected that the russians were very good at it and these wizards were afraid that the russians will take gold gold and look what i found russian russia's Arman Adamian wins World Judo Gold under neutral flag. Surprise, surprise, mofos from Barons. And I have another article here from the Times of India, the same thing, but these guys want all kind of shit. That's why I'm not going to use them. I punish them. And this one is this one from uh, France 24, which is actually coming from Agency France Press. This is what, but again, they don't give me a picture here. I don't like that. So everything is the same. You know, but I'm not going to use these guys because they don't show me a picture. I'm not going to use these guys because they asked all kind of questions and they want me, look, right, I mean, to do all kind of things. I don't like that. So I'm going to go with the uh, friendly barons. There you go. No commercials, no nothing. We take you. You're the winner, <laughs> barons. Hey, okay, from Agency France Press News. So Russia's Arman Adamian wins World Judo Gold under neutral flag. I knew it, Mofos. I knew it. So, here you have it. Adamian, taking part under a neutral flag, defeated Lukash Krape Krapelek of the Czech Republic in the men's below 100 kilogram final. I'm getting under 100 kilogram final. Ukraine pulled its team from the event in Doha last week over the presence of Russian team members it argued were active soldiers. Yeah, they just pulled them from uh, Bakhmut and they got them on the tatami to do some Shi'ai. Idiots, man. Idiots. And I explained what the thing is with uh, uh, in the former Soviet satellites and Soviet uh, you know, uh, uh, socialist republics, socialist republics, a lot of clubs were the club of the security forces, another club was with was Dynamo, and the other one was the of the military. And these guys, when you get over there, you get selected, you get a lot of perks, and among others, you got, you know, this uh, little things here, and you're gonna be part of the military. You're not going to go in the war, you're not gonna be a participant. You're just gonna have, you know, uh, these kind of things. You know, sergeant, and then whatever you get, you get a lieutenant, and you get, you know, and so on. And after, after that, after you retire, you're not gonna go in the army, but you're gonna receive money from the government as being a military guy. And when you, when you retire, you're gonna get a big pension from the government. That's a part of the perks. That's how it works. There were no commercials, uh, you know, before that. So anyway, uh, this is the way it works. I explained it and some still keep that. I mean, when you see Dynamo, Dynamo, I don't know, Dynamo, Kiev or, you know, things like this, you find out that those are the security forces uh, club. All right. That's how it used to be. So, yeah, they were active militaries. Yes, on the paper, but they were not like, pop, 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 pop. but anyway, so they won. They were afraid they were gonna take their gold, which they did. So far, this guy. So after Adamian's victory, which he only secured in overtime, doesn't really matter. This is again to draw him down. Like, oh my, only secured in overtime. So the Russian flag was replaced on the medals podiums by a flag displaying instead the logo of the competition. Blah, 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 blah. We all know he was and he is Russian. Congratulations to the athlete. Good job. Good job for training hard and reaching your dreams. That's all I care. I don't care if it's Russian, Ukrainian, French or Weasel Romanian. I don't care. Now, the International Judo Federation has allowed Russian and Belarusian judokas to take part in these championships as neutral comp competitors, having pre previously banned them after the invasion of Ukraine. That decision followed a recommendation from the International Olympic Committee. So, eight Russians were banned from the tournament, but the uh, International Judo Federation insisted that none were athletes. The judokas 
taking part are not allowed to have Russian colors of their on their outfits. Oh my God, that's so bad. Instead, they bear the letters A A A I N on the back to signify individual neutral athletes. You know, you know when they're gonna go back to Russia, they will be received by that dude called Putin right here. Now, Putin was an honorary president and international ambassador of the AJF from 2008 until he was suspended from the post in 2020 for political reasons. So anyway, that's enough. Uh, all I want to say is I knew that would be the, the, the problem with these guys wanting them to be banned. <coughs> and the same thing, that's uh, another weasel way, uh, weasel reason why a lot of countries want to ban the Russians from the Olympics. Because they're afraid you get rid of people that would take your medals. That's what it is. It's not like you think you think that's an athlete of let's say 18, 19, 20, uh, or let's say a gymnast, a minor gymnast would care. Oh, if what they don't, they don't even know what's going on over there. Who's who, what's what. But they're happy if the Russians not coming. So oh my god, they don't come. That means I already got one uh, you know place higher than I, I would have, probably. This is, uh, if you want to look at it, look at, for instance, in, <coughs> I think it was Atlanta, 1984, the Olympics in Atlanta, uh, in uh, Georgia. And uh, the West, the West, the East, not the Romanians, the Eastern Bloc boycotted that because the Americans boycotted 1980, I think in Moscow that was. So then this guy said, okay, you boycotted the Americans, we're going to do the same thing. So they did the same thing in 84. Now, Romania... Well, had a very good, very good team in everything, in anything, but they got higher. That the 1984 in Atlanta, Romania got the biggest number of medals ever in its history. Why? Because the Russians were out, the Hungarians, the Poles, the people like in the weightlifting, in track, in ca kayaking, canoeing, and all those things. Wherever the, those guys in boxing were good, everybody jumped up. So let's say a Romanian would have gotten the fourth place. Now they got a third place or second place. So this is embarrassing. That's what it is for the athletes and for the guys in charge of them. Because the athletes says, uh, if you think that way, oh, I hope they ban them so I can get a gold medal or maybe a silver medal. Because you know who's who, what's what. I've been in the competitions. I've been in international competitions. You knew who's who's what's what. You know who would, uh, have, you have a problem with and with whom you would not have a problem. You know them from competitions, from training sessions, from you know, international uh, camps and all that. You know who's who, what's what. So the, only a weasel will celebrate. Ah, they're gone. Oh yeah. That means, yeah, you're going to win. The, you're going to be... A, uh, have a gold medal, but you know in your soul that those three guys that were banned could have kicked your ass, probably and possibly. So then, how do you sleep? Well, you don't care because you're gonna take pictures, you're gonna get you know all kind of sp sponsorships, you're gonna make a ton of money. I'm talking about the Western countries, and but so look at that weasel, the Tour de France five times winner, whatever his name is. Can't remember that with a uh, single ball. Remember what's his name? The weasel. You remember that guy? He took all those guys. He was doped. From what I heard, everybody's doped. But he, you know, he got money. He got fame for a few. He got everything he got, wanted for a few. And then, hey, what? Uh, Armstrong, Lance, 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 Lance Armstrong. Everybody was yeah, 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 yeah. And he got, and he's still a millionaire. He's got still there. But he faked. He 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 faked it. Not faked it. He won by cheating. Nope. Does he care? He does, do you think he gives up? No, he doesn't. And I'm waiting for Michael Phelps. I'm not saying he is, but I'm waiting. Like we found out the other one, Mary Ann Jones. Remember Mary Ann Jones, the athlete, the track? Yeah, Mary Ann Jones winning everything. And after what, five, six years, we find out she was doped like to her gills. <laughs> doped. I'm waiting for others. Remember, I'm waiting. Remember Carl Lewis. I used to like Carl Lewis. You know that? Tracker, look at Carl Lewis and Seoul, uh, South Korea, when that all those Olympics were over there, what happened? Before the competition, he tested positive. During the competition, he tested positive and he was allowed to compete and he won. Now, since when? And that was in 1984. No, 84. It was uh, in... Uh, when was that? In Seoul. I can't remember what, what, what year that was. 90? 92, 90, 90, 92, 90, something, something like that. Check it out and find out.
and it was a Romanian gymnast who took um, uh, like ibuprofen. It has atom in, uh, um How do you call it, man? I can't remember the the um, what it's in ibuprofen, but she didn't take ibu acetaminophen. That's what it's called, the uh, chemical acetaminophen. I think it is in it. She took that for a cold. She got the Olympic gold medal, and she was stripped of it because she tested positive for that blah, 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 or something like this. Something that it's in the cold medicine and they stripped her of the bandle. But Carl Lewis, right there, Marion Jones, Lance Armstrong. So you tell me about freedom and love and democracy and yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You know, we remember these things. They don't remember. They don't remember it. We do. Why? Because we were hurt. We were hurt. Thank you very much. I don't want uh, special treatment. I want across the board. That's justice. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Congratulations for that hardworking Russian. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. It doesn't mean that the other ones were not hardworking as well. I congratulate all of them, but it seems like he was the best. And he was. Gold medal.